50% of the world cannot speak to each other. Um, we're focusing on Africa because in just sub-Saharan Africa with 1 billion people, 850 million people approximately are without connectivity. We're seeing a range of topics discussed at this year's Malta AI and Blockchain Summit. Now, one topic was inspired by City AM's Crypto Insiders edition. This week, James, can you tell us what we saw from the edition, first of all? Yeah, sure. I mean, basically the theme uh, of, of the edition, obviously knowing that I was coming to Malta for both the cannabis uh, world and uh, and obviously you know, AIBC, um, I thought it was quite important to think about what we could do, um, given the people that I've been dealing with um, recently and over the last year, uh, and pull together just friends, you know, uh, for the edition with um, Africa very much as the central theme. How we can drive adoption there, uh, how we can unlock the global digital economy there. You know, basically, so I had some very good candidates in mind. Uh, obviously, uh, um, Mickey, who's sitting here, founder of World Mobile, um, has the vision of creating a mesh network uh, in Africa, which gives low cost communications, but also enables people to actually use blockchain stuff. Um, so, you know, pipes, uh, wires, taps you know, just things that, in other words, the stuff that makes it all work. Um, and then that made me think of Richard Ells from Electronium, who also I knew was speaking at the, um, at, at the, at the conference, who then did a really good article uh, as well. And then Mickey introduced World Mobile for the first time to my audience, which was terrific. Um, and then as a consequence of all of that, we put together with uh, Eman and um, Oliver De Bono the, um, uh, the panel idea, which sadly I'm going to miss on Friday, but on Friday I know that uh, that's going to be an amazing one, which is driving mass adoption in Africa, I think. The Correct. Sleeping Giant, something like that. Quite a good name. So yeah, so basically uh, we've got uh, Rod Alexander from IOHK, who, um, you know, Cardano, uh, the, the engineering company behind Cardano, saying the 12th largest currency uh, crypto in the world at the moment. And Charles Hoskinson, the founder there, is a friend as well, and he's deeply passionate about what's going on in Africa. So John O'Connor, who couldn't make it, is sending Rod in his place. Uh, it's because they've got projects uh, live in, in Ethiopia. Ethiopia and Addis Ababa. Okay. And I think your project is in Tanzania. Tanzania. So, I mean, I think. That's the basic theme. And then, of course, uh, Akon, uh, who's Senegalese uh, and is quite now, now known for his charitable works in Africa. And his, his, I think his emotional dream about, you know, um, making things accessible in Africa. It just it just it, it all seemed to hang together as a good idea. And it, it, it's, it's come off well, I hope. Fantastic. And Mickey, you said something really interesting off air, which was that it's not mass adoption, it's mass inclusion here. So what are some of the key elements that we're going to hear on this panel? How we, 50% um, of the world cannot speak to each other. Um, we're focusing on Africa because in just sub-Saharan Africa with 1 billion people, 850 million people approximately are without connectivity. So we're trying to push it forwards and we see uh, a position where it's not mass adoption, it's mass inclusion. And that's where we need to be thinking now. I think the two go hand in hand, don't they? I mean, you know, the, you know education is a fundamental cornerstone of what everyone's trying to do. And I know that's at uh, the heart of, um, uh, um, uh, the foundation work that um, Akon's doing, part of um, what IOHK are doing. In fact, Correct. I know that they did some amazing educational pieces for Ethiopian and Ugandan women. And they chose women specifically to program Haskell, I think is the language that they're using. Actually, they were in Miami, weren't they? Yeah, they were. The yeah, no, and they came, yeah, they got their graduation certificates, I think. Um, so that's picture. pretty cool. So education leading to, um, you know, uh, the understanding of how it all works. Uh, mass adoption obviously is desirable for blockchain, but really where I think Mickey's um, message resonates is mass, you know, mass inclusion, inclusion is, is, is basically unlocking the disenfranchised um, when, know, when, to a world. Sorry, James, forgotten. Yeah, when, um, when you have a product, people want that product. It's a product that's wanted. When you have a product that people need, it's a product that's needed. It's very different. Going out to find something as an early adopter um, is mass adoption. Delivering telecommunications and communications uh, at an ultra low cost to unconnected villages is mass inclusion. So 
there's two things here. There's one for the Western world and there's one for, for the African continent and the rest of the, the places that are not well, connected. Any, any undeveloped nation, really. Of course. And, and you know, I think actually 53% uh, of the world is uh, unconnected as it yeah, stands today. That, you know, and actually that's why Richard Ells is quite interested with Electronium because I think they're doing that. They're, they're, they're enabling people to get on the ladder a little bit with their, with their ETN token, I think so it is. So yeah. actually in, in Africa, um, one of the, one of the, there is no stable coin. Um, the coins fluctuate. There's many different currencies throughout the continent of Africa. So a typical stable coin has been buying minutes. So you buy a top-up card of $10 and then you hold that top-up card at $10. You've actually got $10 that you can go and sell for 5%, uh, for 10% 10 less, but still holds its value. So dollars are converted or local currencies converted into minute format, but it's not legal because you're not allowed to resell minutes. So unless you actually the, the carrier, unless you have the license, unless you have the whole ecosphere, this mass adoption will never happen. So what we've done is, is from the core, uh, we're using license exempt spectrums, TV white space and CBS. We're either working with governments or buying our own mobile network operator license to be the same as Vodafone, as MTN. The big difference here is the way that we transmit the signal. So with license exempt spectrum, we have a chance to, sum, to transmit a signal 50 to 100 kilometers in distance um, plugged into a fiber backbone and then to repeat that with Wi-Fi. So we've seen that we can dramatically reduce the cost of building a telephone infrastructure and we know that mass adoption and mass inclusion can come from this. And I think actually it was interesting, we, had, we, we were speaking to the guys from Amazix, weren't we? Yes. Um, who are, again, very, very powerful people in, in, in our industry in terms of getting the message across. Again, I, get, I sound like a parrot, but when it goes, you know, when it comes to the, the actual, yeah, but when it comes to the industry itself, I mean, in order in order for it to work, you know, you need to have, and again, I'm going to quote um, Charles Hoskinson again on this one, but you need um, usability, scalability, and interoperability. And less than we tell, we've got all of that as well, and having, you know, less of this infighting that goes on between protocol wars and all that, frankly, um, irritating nonsense, it's a distraction. We're getting on with the belt and braces, you know, Education is fundamental to that as well. And I think that, you know, the powerful combination of the people sitting around the table, certainly on the Friday panel, just demonstrates actually what the potential is. Absolutely. Yeah. And the feedback that you've had, the fact that the panel is happening and going ahead is kind of, is credit to that as well. So thank you both so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks. Thank you very much. That's all from us here. The panel will be available online, so be sure to give it a watch and share your thoughts. Thank you.